Hello guys, what we have here today is a um, reference 5700 XT. I think it's Asus, and I tried to uh, upgrade the BIOS to mod the BIOS, and I did uh, the same procedure as I showed you before. You can see it in the top right corner of the video. And the car got bricked, so I will try to unbrick it again following the methods I showed you in the video, which you can see in the top right corner now, and see if it works. So I will unscrew the back plate and see if I can find the BIOS chip. Sadly the, the BIOS chip is not on the back like uh, with Vegas, it's next to the actual GPU so I have to open this card completely. So after removing a lot of screws, like a lot, you can finally see the BS chip here. And uh, it seems that this card has um, some some sort of pad instead of the thermal paste on the GPU, but I will have to, to change it. Uh, I will leave the, the thermal pads intact, they seem fine, there is no oil and the temperatures were fine on this card, so I don't have other pads and I don't have time to, to change them, so for now I will just remove the dust and leave them as it is and apply a thermal paste on the GPU, hopefully uh, it will not be worse than the than temperatures before. Uh, what I just realized is this is um, a revision 2 of the 5700 XT. So the thing with this uh, revision 2 is that you cannot mod the BIOS. So I downloaded the BIOS from the card, modded it and uploaded and that break the card. So I need to upload the BIOS uh, that is um, revision 1 and mod that one. And uh, I will do a different approach here. So I will use, uh, I will connect the pins 1 and 8 to boot this into Windows and then flash it from Windows because my uh, clip for the programmer is not uh, is not actually connecting well so I cannot use that one so I will use a different method I will show you how so what you need to do is take something like a paper clip or uh, any metal what, what you can find and connect this pin with a arrow to the pin opposite of it so one and eight pin like this and boot uh, start your computer and as soon as you see like the motherboard uh, logo you can let it go and it should boot into windows and in device manager you should see uh, a display device that is that has a uh, exclamation mark next to it so it's it says there is a gpu but it cannot recognize which one and uh, I'll show you how to proceed from there. And the tool we are going to use is the Flash tool 2.93 plus for Windows from igorslab.de website. Make sure you download this version, not any other version, because uh, this one has uh, things that we need. So again, make sure you download it from this website and this version of the tool. I will leave the link in the description as well of the video. So when you boot it to Windows, you go to uh, Device Manager and you should see something like this. Uh, this is the card that we are uh, trying to flash. This is the other card that I have in, in this computer. It's also 5700 XT. So now you can go to PowerShell, uh, right click run as administrator. Go to the folder where you have your uh, flash tool. I recommend uh, you download the Flash tool from the Igor Lab. I'll leave the link in the description. And 
type uh, first this uh, in the name of the uh, program and then unlock ROM uh, for GPU one and it should say ROM unlocked. Uh, you can do this to check which number is your GPU. So the first one is the this 5700 XT and the second one is the one we are trying to flash. And now that you unlock the ROM, you can uh, flash the one you want. I suggest you put it in the same folder as the program so it's easier. Uh, mine is uh, named this. It takes a couple of uh, seconds, maybe half a minute to flash, but it should say in the end that the flash is okay and you should restart your computer. And after that we will uh, assemble the card. Yeah, it says um, Everything is okay, it's verified, and restart system to complete the update. So, I will now uh, take the card and assemble it again and put it into system to see if it works. I will put this uh, modded BIOS in in description, so you can download. This is from another card I had, uh, that is also Samsung memory reference card 5700 XT, but the version 1 that I modded before, so I just took that BIOS and uploaded it to this one. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see if this uh, worked. Okay, let's see if it works. And as we can see here, uh, GPU 8, this is the card uh, I was trying to fix, and it works. Uh, and the BIOS is modded, so I get like 55 hash rate at uh, these settings. So I'm very happy, and I didn't mess with the uh, temperature much with the. Um, the thermal paste was okay, so I get decent temp at a uh, very low fan rate. And that's it. So thank you guys. If you like the video, please share, subscribe and like. And see you some other time. Bye bye.